Assalamu alaikum. Today we are going to learn about Azure DevOps through this video tutorial. Before starting the tutorial, I want to introduce my team with you. I am Rijana Sultana. My team members are Hamza Muhtadi Ibn Mamu, MD Masood Mujumdar, Mustaq Ahmed Shihab, Majid Akta Shathi, Ariful Hassan, Opurbo Bhumi, Musharraf Hussain. Now, let's get into the tutorial. First of all, let's see what we are covering into this video tutorial. At first, we'll understand what is DevOps, followed by what is Azure DevOps. Then we will learn about the features of DevOps. After that, we'll see various services of Azure DevOps. Then we'll see a practical example of Azure DevOps where we'll learn how to use Azure DevOps. And finally, we'll learn about some advantages of Azure DevOps followed by a conclusion. Now let's see what is DevOps. DevOps is a portmanteau composed of Dev for development and Ops for operations. In a nutshell, DevOps is about the cooperation between software development and production management, between the developers and the operational teams. Based on this, it would not be unreasonable to think that DevOps is a software development method, but although it is related to and influenced by different software development methods. There is no, there is more to DevOps than that. DevOps is based on the basic principles of Agile. The focus on individuals, interactions and cooperation. The most significant difference is DevOps continues this direction through the whole organization instead of only within the development process. DevOps can therefore be most accurately described as a culture within an organization that rests upon three pillars namely tools processes and people so what is azure devops azure devops server is a microsoft product that provides version control reporting requirements management project management automated builds testing and release management capabilities it covers the entire application lifecycle and enables DevOps capabilities. Software companies face the daily challenge of proving themselves in what is a competitive and challenging market. Software not only needs to be released on the market more quickly, but also need to be continually adopted to ensure that it meets the needs of its end users. The key is a streamlined method of working, clear communication, clearer processes, and short lead times. But how can these improvements be achieved? The solution is Azure DevOps. So this brings us to the features of Azure DevOps. Now let's learn about the features of Azure DevOps. I have listed top six features of Azure DevOps. Let's talk about that one by one. First, we have dashboard control. You can rapidly navigate to different regions of the project, build and manage dashboards using the DevOps Manage Dashboard functionality. Then we have improved source control. Git and Team Foundation version control a centralized client-server system which are two prominent methods of source control supported by Azure developed solution to observe change history. You can add, manage Azure Git tags, reviews, downloads and modify files. Following that, plan and track your work. You can utilize Azure DevOps system to track feature, requirements, user stories, tasks, issues and more using a variety of work items. Then we have integrated collaboration services. It is a tool that allows the team to throughout whole Azure DevOps feature, set including dashboards, project wiki, discussion within work item forms and many others. Then we have support for exploratory testing, manual exploratory and continuous testing are made easier with Azure DevOps, which includes workflow customization, end-to-end -end traceability, criteria-based selection, and real-time visualization that shows the test activities. And at last comes integrated continuous integration and deployment. Azure DevOps consists of a set of tools and services that help developers implement DevOps. 
continuous integration and continuous deployment processes for the development projects. Well, this brings us to Azure DevOps Services. The following is a brief outline of the Azure DevOps Services. You can operation to use them all or choose only the services that you need to complement your existing operational process. Azure Boards allows you to plan, monitor, and discuss your team's activities. Azure Pipelines Azure Pipelines comprises a CI, CD pipeline that work, works for virtually any activity, platform, and cloud. With the aid of a Git provider, you can carry out continuous development, testing, and implementation. Azure Repos Azure Repos gives you an unlimited number of Git repositories in the cloud, pull request and advanced file management allow people and teams to work efficiently. Nice. Azure Test Plans Manual and exploratory test programs allows software to be both tested and released quickly and thoroughly. Azure Artifacts Azure Artifacts allows you to share code easily with different team and organization. You can share packages and add them to your pipelines. Now let's have a practical example on browser that how to use Azure DevOps. First of all, get into your browser and search for Azure DevOps in the search bar. Click on the link of Azure DevOps from the search result. Click start free or start free with GitHub to log in with your GitHub account. I'm selecting start free to log in with my Gmail account. If you don't have an account, it will navigate you to create a new account with your Gmail. As I already have an account, it navigated me to the homepage of Azure DevOps. Now let's create a new project by clicking new project. Provide your project name and description. Select visibility type. You can select public or private as the visibility of your project. Now click advanced to select version control system and work item process method. I'm selecting git as a version control system and agile as a work item process control. Finally, Click the create button to finish creating a new project. It will take some time to finish processing. Now you can see all of your projects on the homepage. Click on your preferred project to navigate the dashboard. Now you can see a summary of your project. To make any changes to your project settings, you can click on project settings. From here, you can change the project name, description and work item process method. You can add a project administrator by clicking add administrator and providing the email of the preferred administrator. Also, you can select your preferred Azure DevOps services from here. You can off any of the services only with a single click.
if needed you can delete your project also One another feature is that you can select a profile image for your project from here. Next, you need to create teams as many as needed for your project. To create a new team, just click new team and enter the team name and members email addresses. If you want, can add some description add team administrators and permissions to this team click create to finish creation now you can see the newly created team in the team list in this way you can create more teams if needed there are so many settings related to the project like this you can use them if needed now let's learn about azure boards as you know, Azure Bird is a service for managing the work of for your software projects. You can create new work items like epic, task, bug, issues, features, test cases, and user stories from here. Let's create a work item called epic. To create this, into the title, select to whom you want to assign priority, business value, start it, end it, and some discussion to start a discussion about this work item. Click save to finish. You can add links to attachment if you want. According to this same process, you can add more work items. Also, you can simply add a CSV file containing work items. If you delete any work items, they will not be deleted permanently. It will be stored in the recycle bin. Now let's get into the boards of a specific team. In this cage, the boards of team 1. Here you can find all the work items assigned to this team. You can add some work items from here. Only team members can see this page. You can easily drag and drop any work items from any state to another state. You can assign members for this task from a, this team. Project backlogs are easily manageable here. Next, let's learn about Azure Repos. As you know, Azure Repos is a set of version control tools that you can use to manage your code. You can create new repositories in Git or PFS. Easily manage commits, users, branches, tags, and pull requests from here. Also, you can import existing Git repositories here. Finally, there are three more Azure DevOps services which are Azure Pipelines, Test Plans, and Artifacts. Azure Pipelines automatically builds and tests code projects to make them available to others. 
it works with just about any language or project type. Azure Pipelines combine continuous integration and continuous delivery to test and build your code and ship it to any target. Azure Test Plans provide a browser-based test management solution for exploratory, plant manual, and user acceptance testing. Azure Test Plans also provides a browser extension for exploratory testing and gathering feedback from stakeholders. And Azure Artifacts is an extension that makes it easy to discover, install, and publish Nugget, NPM, and Maven packages in Azure DevOps. It's deeply integrated with other hubs like Build, so that package management can become a seamless part of your existing workflows. Now, let's learn about some advantages of Azure DevOps. Azure DevOps is a platform where you and your team can collaborate more effectively, thus enabling faster development and easier maintenance of your application. Here are the key advantages of Azure DevOps so that you can decide whether or not Azure DevOps is the perfect platform for your development needs. It saves time and money work in one environment. It's platform agnostic, on the go access, high availability and reliability. Let's conclude. Azure DevOps platform is generally utilized in the software development process. Along these lines, this platform helps the association which is as of now utilizing Azure and making the SL a simple. In this video tutorial, we have talked about the introduction to Azure DevOps.